Welcome to this tutorial. We are working on Merch uh, 6.0 and we want to tell you how I organized my life. Meaning this is a tutorial about variety. I'm gonna set everything right the way it should be in my eyes. It's up to you to decide if it's uh, something for you as well. So we are in open box by the way, it doesn't matter. Uh, variety is the same everywhere. Um, so I'm going to show this one in open box. Control H, remember the hidden things you don't want to see. Control H, where is it again here? Show hidden files. This is less uh, chaotic than the Control H, which has lots of hidden files, these dot uh, folders and files. So um, variety. My advice one, get the Dropbox account. Okay, try to get a Dropbox account. Second one, if you get a Dropbox account and you go to the website, this one, Chromium, and you go to desktopper.co, then you make sure that you have access. So create account or login, whatever is suitable for you. So create an account and what happens? you get your username. So choosing a username is important. Oops, and like you see, I have written my own name wrong. I have 592 wallpapers, 928 uploads, 12 people are following me and I'm following three people. This is my wallpaper collection. If you want to have my wallpaper, all you have to do is click here. Then your this wallpaper or any other wallpaper will be synced to your system, to your Dropbox system. But that's the thing you need to have. It's only, well, only, it's enough for wallpapers. It's two gigabytes you have when uh, starting with Dropbox. There are ways to get more gigabytes. So these are not mine. These are nice little images from other people. And you say, oh, I like the blue kind of color. Then you just go and look for other things that are blue. Just press here, and now we have similar bluish kind of things. As you can see, everything is blue. Well, a similar blue. This nice one, for instance. Okay, you want that? Okay, sign up to sync to Dropbox. So you have to become a member. So let me just show you what happens. So I'm gonna log in. I'm gonna pause the movie. So I'm logging. Okay. So there we are. I'm logged in joined in 2015 it seems in January and this is what I have so when you're logged in what can you do you go to the wallpapers you go to this one for instance and you say oh I like that one I'm gonna click here and that's very easy just figure or follow what's going on in here Dropbox I click here and something happens here there you go that's it I've got a wallpaper. Now, how do I get the wallpapers that I like back on my system? And how do I get them? Because um, I go to the settings here. So let's go over the settings. Preferences. So here is the information. Home, Eric, Dropbox, Apps. There are the desktop images. These are all the images. Ah, here it is already. So that's the one I just downloaded. Okay. So it's in here. The question is now to tell Variety, this is the folder. Get these images for my beautiful backgrounds. Okay, so let's go in and say to Preferences. Let's go over everything. Start Variety when the computer starts. Good. Change a computer every five minutes. Yes, I want that. Change the wallpaper on Start. Yes, I want that. It's just my preferences. You don't need to follow me. It's just what I do. User share backgrounds. Those are the backgrounds from Arch Labs. At some point in time, you've seen them all. And you say, OK, done with that. And you ch choose your own wallpaper. So you can see, these are the ones from Arch Labs. And it goes on, on the other screen. So you want them or you don't want them. And this is the one that's very interesting. Desktopper, random wallpapers from Desktopper. And yes, they are suitable for work. You know what I mean. I don't want Bing, not really. 
Unsplash, Apple, Earth, and Flickr. Download a wallpaper every 10 minutes. Sounds good. It's going to go to that folder. That's good for me. Limit the download folder to 500 megabytes. That's quite a lot, but that's okay. And here is something you don't have. I set mine to take uh, from this Eric Dropbox apps desktopper, so also the one that's new, this one, the new one. I tell him to go there to get my wallpapers. So that's new. And those as well. Effects, I've talked about that in another tutorial. You want to have great effects, then everything is grayed out. It's cool, but it's no color. And the rest I keep as normal. Just check what I, you have, what I have. And um, no, maybe another indicator, depending on the team you have. You have this icon that's white or black. Uh, here it is. Or you can take the Sardi icons or the Surf icons or the Pyrus icons or the Numix icons. You just select an icon and then you have a custom image. And all the rest is for me done. So if this is set, this here is set and this here is set and I have a an, an desktop account, a desktop account, then we're set to go. Every time I press Alt Arrow, you will get another image. And the image is coming from two sources either from my Arch Labs uh, folder or this one is coming. I even think that this one is not in my collection. Let's see. View a desktopper. So it's not mine. It's coming from desktopper, a selection from desktopper. You can check it out. I say, oh yeah, I want to have that. Click, done. And it's, of course, login and so on. And then you have it on the computer again. So it's quite easy. It's a uh, workflow that I'm accustomed to, that I'm used to, that I want everywhere on any distro. So combination with desktopper and Dropbox and some uh, pointers here, you can have it too in preferences, put it in here and that's fine. Enjoy variety.